public as we speak. Welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. It is October 24th, if I, is that right? Yes, I think it's right. Um, 2012. And tonight we're going to remix Karen. Um, anyway. <laughs> Karen Fastenpower has uh, uh, her, uh, oh, it's about a 14 minute, uh, with credit 17 minutes, <laughs> uh, video that she put together um, for the K-12 online conference, which we hope to uh, speak um, about in general. If you, There are quite a few really interesting things going up. But we picked this one um, for tonight uh, because... Uh, some of us are in it, and we, uh, you know, we like when you talk about us. <laughs> Sorry, that's not really. Funny. But um, anyway. so it's really nice to, the the kind of partnership that uh, we've had um, over the past few months, and um, as so we're gonna kind of look at your. Um, it was visioning new curriculum. Um, and uh, together, so we thought we'd look at it together and talk about it. And we've invited a few other people to come as well. But um, let's get let's start here. Sue King, could you introduce yourself, and uh, and then we'll just come across that way with brief introductions. Welcome. Hi, I'm Sue King. I am a director of teaching and learning for the Upper Perkiomen School District um, in Pennsburg, Pennsylvania outside of Philadelphia. Cool. And um, how did you come to this tonight? And what are your, what's your interest kind of in visioning new curriculum? <laughs> well, in, um, I actually crossed, crossed paths with Karen a number of years ago when I was working as a middle school principal in Hershey and um, have always, uh, we, we've maintained contact since then, have a great interest in uh, curriculum and really in revisioning um, curriculum as it's uh, kind of been in uh, place in K-12 to schools. Great. Thank you for joining us. Paul, oh, you could do next introduction here. Hi, Paul. Hi, everyone. This is Paul O. Oh. I'm with the National Writing Project. I'm actually in my home right now in Oakland, California, still unpacking boxes. But uh, typically, I work out of an office in Berkeley, California. It's great to be here. And I have known Karen now for what seems like forever. And yet, I think it's really only a, a couple of years, maybe, maybe not even two years. And I feel like in that time, I've uh, ridden her coattails on many projects that have been incredible. It's been a fun ride. Very cool. And I'm Paul Allison with the uh, New York City Writing Project. And, um, and Karen came up to our school last week, so it was really nice to have her visit us at uh, the Bronx Academy Senior High. And uh, she got to sit next to some of our students and get to know them. And... Um, Anyway, so we'll talk more about that as we go. So very nice to have you all here tonight. Um, Monica, welcome. I'm Monica Hardy, and I'm in Loveland, Colorado, where we're experimenting with city or community as curriculum. Cool. Karen, brief introductions. We'll just go alphabetically here, in reverse, if you didn't notice here. <laughs> I'm Karen, and... I just love everybody in this room. I'm so happy to be here with you all tonight. And uh, I work with schools on curriculum and technology integration. And I also um, do a lot with the PDPU School of Ed. And I think we will be talking about that a little bit as it relates to the K-12 online conference as well. Cool. Christina, welcome. Hi. Uh, we can hi. hear you. Yeah, sorry. Um, so I'm Christina Cantrell and I work for the National Writing Project and I guess really you guys inspired me to really um, pay attention to curriculum and what curriculum was and um, how to think about it and how to um, and what questions need to be asked so I'm just excited to be here and think about it more with you all. And Chris Sloan, welcome. Hello. Uh, my name is Chris Sloan, and I live in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I teach high school at Judge Memorial. I teach English and media, 
And I'm interested because, uh, you know, I like a lot of Karen's work, but, um, you know, I struggle with curriculum all the time, it seems like. You know, you'd think after a few years of teaching, you'd just have it down and it would just be a boilerplate or something. But, uh, you know, I'm always struggling with uh, or working with um, curriculum, so. Cool. So, Karen, I think your your video actually starts, your presentation begins with that kind of question, what is curriculum? Um, and I think I've marked it pretty carefully, and, and I might be able to show it here.